what's up y'all um this your boy renard i know um i haven't been really you know doing a lot of videos i promise i know i know i don't have that many subscribers and i'm not telling you to subscribe but i would like to bring something to you that has been on my mind for a while it's actually really just i don't i don't know but I would like to stretch something with you guys. And don't worry, there are more rants and videos coming in. I will do some game reviews, you know, and some movie reviews and so on and so forth as soon as I get that advantage. I've been so busy, you know, with school and trying to get a job and everything. But I would like to bring something to you, you guys' attention. And I know everyone's talked about this. Call of Duty. Now, Call of Duty reign supreme with um war at war um call of duty modern war modern warfare the first one and i think modern warfare 2 the rest of the call of duties i can say myself they're not that good i i don't like them at all it pisses me off the last time i was online this little kid kept screaming in my fucking ears you know, tomorrow, oh, you fucking asshole, fuck you, oh, fuck you, dude, oh, you, oh, bro, you tripping, you tripping, I fuck hate little kids playing Call of Duty, first of all, what the fuck are little kids playing Call of Duty for anyway, you, you fucking, you little kids, stick to damn scribble knots. stick to fucking Super Mario Brothers, I don't understand that, I really don't, but I can't blame the kids, I can blame the fucking irresponsible ass parents, what parents see their kid with a fucking, machine gun, semi-automatic, shooting down, you know, cussing his ass off, exposed to violence and blood and war on the big ass screen in in their rooms or in the living room, you know, shit, shit like that, like, that's what pisses me off about the Call of Duty community, and now we have the fanboys, the thing Call of Duty reigns supreme, now, I've granted there are some Call of Duty fanboys who don't consider themselves fanboys, but that's all, but that's all you defend, for example, Call of Duty Ghosts. It's the new instance of the franchise. I, for one, am sick of it. I am more psyched about other games that I would rather spend my money on. Evil Within, GTA 5, Metal Gear Solid 5, uh, Last of Us, Beyond, um, Rayman Legends. You know, all these kick-ass titles that... Um, I really just want to get my hands on, and I just know we're gonna have we got some badass contenders, guys, for game of the year. It's it's gonna be massive. It's a great year for gaming, but like Call of Duty is just old. Like no one, like most, like I, I don't get me wrong. And there are some people that are actually opening their eyes, like what the fuck? This is the same bullshit. It's the same fucking game, the same fucking IP. Nothing has changed. Oh yeah, they give you a new engine, so that gives you a reason to spend sixty five dollars. For example, uh, the Call of Duty Ghost uh, teaser that was released. I seen it, you know, with the mask and everything. You guys know it. Well, amazing, at the very end of the trailer, they say, pre-order now. You haven't shown us any fucking gameplay. Which I'm, I think it's supposed to be some gameplay on the 21st, which is tomorrow. Yes. It amazes me. I fucking hate this this franchise I do I hate it so much and it's not cuz oh you can't get any kills oh you suck the guns oh you just suck a call of duty no I just fucking hate it it is ruined who remembers old school first person shooters who remembers doom you know quake wolfenstein counter strike the good the good stuff the the real good stuff back then first person shooters not only revolutionized first person gaming it had like you had to fight, uh, for example, uh, demons, monsters, and robots, and paranormal shit. Like, that is what I love about first-person shooters, you know? And yes, there are some legit uh, new generation first-person shooters that kick ass. Um, Bioshock, all of them. Um, yes, including Bioshock 2. Um, Far Cry 3, which I think is awesome. Fucking hate the story, but that that's besides the point. Um, Bulletstorm, Wolfenstein, uh, Turok. Um, you know, all these kick-ass shooters, but nope, we gotta stick with military first-person shooter, that's like what everybody wants, 
Now, granted, I have played Battlefield 3. I did play Battlefield 3. In my opinion, that game is great. It's awesome, actually. Uh, I was did not play Medal of Honor Warfighter. I just didn't. I never got around to it. I was I've been so bu- I was so busy playing those games. I never got around to Medal of Honor. But seriously, guys, Call of Duty is so fucking overrated. Like, why do people still buy it? I tell you why. This fucking cash, the money. That's all they care about. That's all. That's all it is. It's, all, it's a cash grab towards little kids and and you know actual Call of Duty fanboys who are actually opening their eyes. Bobby Kotick is a fucking dick. I'm just putting it out there right now. Bobby Kotick is an asshole. He, he, I, I don't know. I don't know how this fucker became the CEO of Activision. Because right now he's sitting in his office counting all of our, all of, all of everyone who's bought, bought this game's money. And just releasing the same shit. Now, this new engine, I want to see this engine for myself. I want to see it for myself. To see if it's quote unquote a brand new engine, you know. Because according to all the Call of Duty kids and fans, it's a, it's going to be a core gaming experience, and it's not going to be like the rest. So apparently, us GTA and uh, Hack and Slash fans and Bethesda fans and Naughty Dog fans, apparently we're just jumped to conclusions. We're just jumped to conclusions. We're overreacting. Fuck you. That's all I have to say. Fuck you. I want the series to die. I was thinking about starting a petition, but I thought it, it's not worth it. I want the series to cease to exist. Maybe, just maybe, there is still hope for gaming. Don't buy this fucking game, guys. Don't support this shit. Save your money towards better games. Go see a movie. Go take your girlfriend out. Go treat yourself to... Go shopping. Go to mall. Get some new shoes, some new clothes. Save your money. Save it. Do not give Activision another fucking dime. Because I'll tell you what the, the thing is. As soon as you, like, buy it, they mean to go, they release DLC. And the DLC is always the fucking same. Sooner or later, we're going to get bored of fucking zombie maps. Sooner or later. I don't know when, but sooner or later, we will get bored of zombie maps. I'm just saying. This has been my rant. Um, like I said, more videos are to come. Like I said, I've been so busy. Um, please leave your comments. Notice, note, no, again, note again, no Call of Duty fanboys are, are not allowed to comment because most of them are just either A, children, or B, just, just plain rude, disrespectful. You know, just share your thoughts on, on what you feel about the series as a whole and about the whole community. I want to hear your thoughts and your opinions. I don't want to hear how you feel I'm being disrespectful towards the franchise and towards the fans. No, it's not like that. I fucking appreciate all gamers, but as far as the Call of Duty community goes, you're a bunch of they're a bunch of rude and at, rude assholes. They're just they're just fucking rude. Little kids, what the fuck? Little kids can't walk into GameStop, Walmart, and Target and buy it them. Damn, they're damn. Excuse me, I'm getting ahead of myself. They can't buy it themselves. So who do we else we have to blame? The fucking parents who don't even give a shit. It says rated M for matured. Mommy, I can't buy it. Oh, don't worry, son. I got you. It's fucking stupid. I was in San Leandro. And I saw a mom and a dad walk into GameStop with three little boys. Maybe like maybe like three, four, or five years old. Each of them. And while I'm sitting there, you know, just on the games or whatever... She hands the littlest one Black Ops 2. She hands the other one fucking Left 4 Dead 2. And then she gives... Yeah, the dad picks up fucking Metro Last Light and gives it to the other kid. I'm like... And I'm sitting there just like, what the fuck? This is rated M. These kids can't play these games. I thought at first they were for the dad, but... I guess the kids are playing them. That is what this gaming generation has become. It's been leaked towards children. So apparently little kids can play, indeed, rated them for mature games. What was that they said about 
taxing violent video games? What was that they said about video games being electronic child molesters? What was that they said about rated E games being violent? Exactly. It's a fucking conspiracy, ladies and gentlemen. It's just to, to pin the blame on something. Or some... or Yeah. Something. Fucking video games. I fucking hate what has become of gaming. I miss the old days. The NES days. The N64 days. The Dreamcast days. The Sega Genesis days. The PS1 days. The PS2 days. Original Xbox. Nintendo GameCube. I don't know what to tell you guys. Like, I want the series to cease. So, like I said, you know, comment below. Let me know your thoughts. There are more videos to come. You all have a nice day. Happy gaming. Bye.